Hi and welcome to this virtual manufacturing services video demonstration on tracoidal milling within GibbsCam. So I have a part here on the screen that we want to tracoidal mill around this profile. And if I double click the op you'll see there's just a standard profile using tool number two going a half inch deep. You'll notice that I have three tools on the screen, a one inch carbide end mill, a 5 8 carbide end mill, and our half inch carbide end mill. The half inch is what we're actually going to use to, to turquoidal mill. So what you have to do first is do your path with a larger end mill, then select the smaller end mill, and if we right click on the operation and go to operation modifiers, select convert to turquoidal and click add, it's going to bring up another contextual menu where you have the option of doing half arcs or full circles and of course your RPM, your entry feed, and your contour feed and how much you want to advance in the turquoidal milling. We click do it and there's our path. So the way this works is you'll see a rather tight loop here so if I render this and I'm going to close this window out and I'll single block it. There we are with our tracoidal path. But let's suppose I wanted a larger loop than this. What I'm going to do is deselect here, grab my one inch cutter, select do it, and then I want to tracoidal with my half inch once again I right click, go to operation modifiers, click add with convert to tracoidal. I'll do the same step over and, and such and click do it. And you'll notice that our loops are bigger because we had originally done it with the one inch and then f 5 eighths cutter. So you need, that's how you're going to control the size of your loops, is by the previous cutter that you select before you apply the tracoidal milling path. So the larger the cutter, the previous cutter, the larger the loops are going to be. So if I drag this up here and rewind, there we're getting a larger radius on our loops going around. So that's turquoidal milling. You have to start with a larger cutter first, then select the smaller cutter, right click, go to your operation modifiers, convert to turquoidal, fill in your step over amounts, and click do it. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.